totally understand what you're saying, Anth. I mean, it's hard if you go out into the streets. You just can't really get people to like have a conversation in English. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Xenia, are you there? Hmm. Well, let's get started with the class, anyways. Um, and can you read the title and the next lines? Okay. Uh, the news. Today we will, we will discuss news related topics, read comics, read and discuss news stories, and practice role plays. Good. And we've also got <laughs> Kazenia again. Uh, Kazenia, are you there? Yes, I'm here, but I have a big problem with my internet connection. Okay. Well, hopefully it gets better. Um, yeah, okay. well, I can hear you now. And let's go on to the first page. And, Amp, can you ask Senya the first question? Senya, what news stories are you following now? Hmm. I'm sorry, but I have a big problem with news because I don't watch them at all, eat at all. So, I don't know nothing okay. about news. I don't know nothing? I don't know anything. Uh-huh. Anything about article? About the news. Good. All right, Amp, what about you? Are you following any news stories? Well, yes, I was following just about the, the, the bomb in Thailand, in Bangkok. Um, they have uh, the, the video of uh, the suspicious guy, and they are just trying to, to find this guy that he, he was using a backpack, and probably, uh, and he, he was in, in the area where the, the blast was. So. Yeah, looking yeah. for him. Yeah, unbelievable. Um, okay, yeah, we're going to actually read about that today. Okay. Uh, Amp, can you ask Xenia the next question? Do you think that the news is necessary? Why or, or why not? I think... That you that the news is very necessary for people. From it, we can know about the world situation and prevent some problem. Maybe we know that in some countries, uh, in some countries. Oh my God! Have worse, so we don't go to the. But for me, it's unnecessary. Okay. Maybe we know that in some countries have worse. Worse, worse. Wars, wars. wars. Um, so it's got like a Z sound. Yeah, wars. Mm -hmm. And so we don't go to them? Yes. Okay, but for me it's unnecessary. All right. And maybe, Xenia, can you ask Anne yeah, for the next question? What do you think is the most important thing the news should report? Well, sometimes... Uh... The, the uh, I think the most important thing it must be uh, uh, about the people, um, about the situation in different countries, and not just uh, be focused on political aspects. Um, they have to cover a more important aspect like uh, necessities of uh, some countries that like uh, water, for example, the starving people or, or something like that, instead of just the, the political aspect of the principal, uh, the most important countries, just the, the leaders of these countries, sometimes mm -hmm. they are just uh, 
news that people don't care about that. Okay, yeah. I think that's a really good point. You know, this idea of focusing on political aspects of the most important countries. I saw, I think, Donald Trump on the news down here the other day, and I was, yeah. All right. Okay, and I think that's good. And let's go on. Let's look at these. And Xenia, can you read through the words? Yes. Mass media, documentary, breaking news, broadcast, plagiarize, columnist, editorial, anchor, eyewitness reports. Really nice to done. Any questions here? I'm not sure about Anchor. Okay. Amp, do you know what an Anchor is? Yes, generally they're, they're the, the person that draws it. It appears in front of the camera and reads the news. Uh -huh. Reads the news. Uh, yeah. So the the person behind the desk really would be the anchor. So the person who the news always comes back to, who's like in the office. Yeah, and they read the news. Really good. Any other questions? Mass media. Okay. Mass media. Xenia, do you think you can explain what the mass media is? Mm, mass media, it's a thumb, or newspaper, or television, radio, that, mm, I don't know what they're doing. They are telling to us some news, I don't know. They tell, yeah, they tell us the news. To the tell a large number of people. Large number of people in news. Maybe the mass media. So again, any sort of newspaper, television show, radio show that reaches a, a large number of people and tells them the news generally. Any other questions? Okay, let's have AMP. Can you use the future perfect with broadcast? Or the future perfect progressive, maybe? Uh, well, uh, when the, there was a, a big the riot in my country, the, the channels uh, now was in past. <laughs> It, that was in past. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and uh, if they, if they, they, if they are, if there are, there is, if there is a riot in my country, the just the the official channel will have been the. Broadcasting the news. Okay, only the channel will have them broadcasting the news. Why wouldn't you use the simple future here? Can we use the simple future? Yes. Yeah, I think we'll broadcast the news. Hmm. Mm. Okay, so the future perfect maybe could be a little bit different. Ksenia, do you think you could make a sentence using the future perfect or the future perfect no, progressive? No. I have problem with this tense. <laughs> okay. If we are still broadcasting tomorrow, we how would you finish that amp? We had been. 
on the we air. Will. We will have been uh, on air for more than three years. Yeah. But, yeah. So if we're still doing something in the future, we will have been doing it for a specific amount of time. Um, so I guess kind of a completed action. Really good. That would be the, a good example of the future perfect. Does that make sense, Ksenia? Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of... I guess maybe... Can you use the columnist in a sentence, Ksenia? Using the future tense? If you use if only, if I can choose um, whom I want to be in some TV show, I'll choose a columnist job uh, in a oh, oh my god oh Sarah Jessica Parker. Some, some, something like that, Sarah Jessica. Sarah Jessica. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what is going through my tongue. That's okay. If I can choose whom I want to be in some TV show, I'll choose a columnist job. Uh, something as uh, Sarah Jessica. As Sarah Jessica Parker. As Sarah Jessica Parker. So you would play Sarah Jessica Parker playing a columnist? For example. Columnist is a person who write a little topic in a magazine. Yes, I'm right. Yeah, a person who writes a, about a specific topic. Yes, yeah. Consistently. I'm not sure where Sarah, I just don't understand where Sarah Jessica Parker comes in. I'm sorry. It was the main character in a Sex in a Big City. I don't know. He, was she a columnist? He, yes. Oh. Um... <laughs> So I choose uh, a columnist job like Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker. Like yeah, like Sarah, mm -hmm. Jessica, like Sarah Jessica Parker. Um, yeah, I can choose who I want to be. Maybe I could choose. If I could choose to have the job of a famous person in some TV show, mm -hmm. I will choose a columnist job like Sarah's Parker's. Okay, this is good. I think. We would want to use more, I would, if I could choose to have. Because it's kind of mm -hmm. an impossible situation. Yes. Yeah. But but really good, good sentence. Sorry I didn't understand. It. It's a little bit tricky, but really nicely done. Ken, welcome to class. How's it going? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing really well. Thanks for asking. Um, all right, and I think we're good here. Uh, let's skip that. Do a little bit of reading. Um, let's have Ksenia. Can you read the title and the first part? Ksenia? I'm sorry. I should read. You, yeah, the first part. Uh, yesterday, uh, Bangkok, the story. Yesterday, a bomb exploded at a busy to reside in Thailand capital, at least uh, 20 people were killed. Right. Can, can you read the next part? Okay, uh, what do I need to know? More? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the prep 
bomb went off during evening rush. Uh, rush hour in front of a popular Hindu shrine. No one, no one has claimed responsibility, but police are now looking for a suspect seen in a surveillance video. In more? Yeah. It shows a man carrying a bat backpack near the shri uh, sh shrine at the time of the explosion. It's been a rough year for the Thailand last year, after a month of unrest. The Prime Minister was kicked out in a military coup. He was backwarded the Europe's but not so much with the upper class. Things have mostly claimed down since then. Until yesterday, officials say the attack was intended to destroy the economy. Okay. Good. Let's look at surveillance. And then coup. 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 Yeah, so it's like a coup d'etat, which is French, so coup. Okay. Uh, calmed. 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 Yeah, maybe almost with calmed. Uh, officials. Officials. Mm -hmm. And we were done. Alush, welcome to class. Alush, how's it going? Hey, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, nice well. nice. Doing really well, thanks. Welcome to class. Um, Alush, I know you were kind of in and out yesterday. I don't think I ended up speaking to you. Uh, where are you from, Alush? I am from Syria. Okay. And... Nice, yeah, well, welcome to class. Let's have Amp, can you read the next part? The this is the worst bombing in Thailand in years, in years, and many are worried it could make tourists pause before booking their trips. Not good, since tourism is a critical part of the otherwise shaky Thai economy. Good, okay. And does anybody have any questions here? Okay. Maybe Thailand, be, uh, since uh, even though it's spelled th, but uh, it's Thailand, not Thailand. Right? Yeah, it is Thailand. It's got a hard t at the beginning. Okay. okay. Um, so yeah, pretty pretty basic, I think. Amp is already talking about this, so really tragic. But, um, all right, let's look at some questions. Amp, can you ask Xenia the first question? Xenia, do you think that reading a newspaper is a good way to improve your English? I think just reading should improve your English and. Uh, it's not be a sure newspaper or something like that. It could, it can be interesting books that uh -huh. you like to read or magazines. What do you like to read? What's your favorite thing to read? I like read classics books. Okay. Or books I like to read. I like to read classics. 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 Yeah, you could also say like classic books or I'm sorry? literary classic. You could say classic books or literary uh -huh. classics. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think those are maybe the two most common ways. Do you have a favorite book? Uh, yes, I have, but it's all Russian. Author, so mm -hmm. it's not on English. <laughs> it's 
think actually, yeah, we talked about that probably before. Um, all right. I guess Russian authors. Do you write like Chekhov? Chekhov? Uh-huh. No, I like Dostoevsky, Bulgakov, Tolstoy, okay. Alexander, and many others. <laughs> okay. Yeah, nice. Chekhov is really famous as like a short story writer, I guess. Yes, um, it's Dostoevsky short story. Dostoevsky is good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Tolstoy, definitely very different than Dostoevsky. Really good. Awesome. And Senya, can you ask Ken the next question? Ken, do you think it's important to know what is going on in the world? Why or why not? Yes, I think it's important to know what is going on in the world. Because, you know, if we don't get the information, uh, you know, uh, maybe some powerful people or corporation or, or politician can control the world fully. So sometimes information is a power. But uh, current media uh, focus on the kind of sensationalism only to sell more magazines or newspapers. Actually, both negative and positive things are happening on the world. However, mass media always focus on kind of sensational, tragical thing. So I think some, some, there needs to uh, be more balanced uh, report, uh, you know, information. I, 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 we need, I need, <laughs> at least, yeah. Okay, there needs to be more balanced reporting of information, maybe? Yes. Um, and then we say the mass media. The mass media, okay. Okay. And Ken, can you ask us the next question? Okay. Oost? Uh, do you trust the information you get from the news? Maybe my pronunciation is not good. Lose. <laughs> Hello, are you there? Uh, sorry, sir. Do you ask me? Yeah. Can you answer this question, the third question? Yeah. Uh, do you trust uh, the information you get uh, you get from the news? Yeah. Can you answer? Uh, uh, not really. Not all. Because uh, uh, sometimes I um, uh, read the news about Syria, war uh, of Syria, and. Um, I have friend, uh, friends in Syria that uh, they do tell me not true. So not all news I trust. Okay. What is not true about, I guess, what do you hear some things that aren't true about Syria? Like uh, sometimes uh, I hear uh, or see in the TV uh, uh, their uh, war in Syria, some uh, place and places, and uh, I have friends uh, there. Uh, I call him, and uh, they told me uh, they are not true and nothing there. Okay. Okay. So maybe not really, not all, not really all of it. Not all no, of it. Not all of it. Yeah. So just a couple of small things. But good, really good answer. Um, Thank you. And last one, Alush, can you ask Amp the last question? Me? Yeah, so can you ask Amp the last question? Okay. Uh, what would the world be like without the news? Well, uh, the world would be isolated. It's like a. Um, we don't know anything about our neighbor. Uh, we don't. We don't. Uh, we cannot interact with the rest of the people. How can you do businesses in between the, the, the countries if you don't know how the economy, how the situation is there? So mm -hmm. I think it's it's important to know what is happening around the world. <coughs> We wouldn't. 
we wouldn't know anything about our neighbors, and we wouldn't be able to interact with the rest of the world. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. And feel free to. Ask. Do you want to ask Arush your question? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yesterday I heard about a bomb also in Syria that killed uh, around 120 people. Um, I don't know if that's is that true. <clears throat> Any ideas, Arush? Uh, but but uh, you can, uh, could uh, repeat the question? Yeah, I am. Yes, uh, I heard uh, yesterday that you, uh, a bomb in Syria that killed around 120 people. Is that true? Uh, yes, uh, that uh, could be true because uh, not uh, just yesterday, all the time uh, there uh, a hundred uh, people died. Yeah. Killing um, in the group, I mean, uh, one time, like a uh, hundred people uh, killed uh, one time. Yeah. I don't know what means the word. What word do you not know? Uh, no. St uh, a lot of people die, some uh, kill, some, uh, some in some uh, in same uh, time. Okay, so a lot of people are killed at the same time. It's like a like, like a, a boom, a bomb. <laughs> yeah, or a tank, uh, helicopter. The yeah. Okay, so definitely lots of yeah, lots of. Unrest and violence. Okay. Yeah, definitely it's pretty awful. Okay. Let's go to the next page, maybe a little bit lighter. Um, Senya, can you read the first part? The story. Last year, Northwestern University's football team got to the go ahead to unionize yesterday. Uh, to, to unionize. Yesterday is a retold nope, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Mm -hmm. What's happening here? I don't know. It says uh, something strange. Okay, so uh, so they won some um contest, yes? Not quite. A union. A work union? Do you know what a work union is? Work or work? Work. A work union. No. Okay. Does anybody know what a union is? Yes. Hmm? A group of, of workers that just... Uh, yeah. Uh, they work in the same company, for example, and they support the, the, the employee in any case uh, when they have uh, any kind of trouble with the companies and they just claim for some rights that they, they, they must have. Mm -hmm. They fight for worker rights. Yeah, so any like workers in the same industry could get into a union, and so they band together in order to fight for wages and rights and privileges for other workers in the same industry against the employers. So they fight for better pay, for better wage, I guess, maybe for better work conditions more rights, privileges. And so this football team in a university in the northwest of the United States, it's called Northwestern University, they got the go-ahead. What's the go-ahead? Permission to do it? Yeah. They got permission to unionize, to form a union. And then yesterday, they were told, nah, never mind. What does that mean, Ksenia? I have no idea. Mm. <laughs> um, 
does anybody think they can explain this the idea of the story basically? I, I think that it's uh, the the football team who, who last year it was given the permission to to create a union um, inside the, the the team. But yesterday mm -hmm. they 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 changed their mind and they received the news that they cannot do it anymore. Yeah. So they were given permission to unionize, and then yesterday they were told that they cannot. Um, Ken, can you read the next part? Okay, explain. Schools like Northern West Western make make big dollars on their sports team. Think broadcast deals and ticket sales, but athletes don't see a lot of that upside. Last year, Northwestern's football team said if one is to from a union to bargain for things like medical care and other benefits, a director at the MLRB, National Labor Relation Board, gave them the AOK, saying the athletes with scholarships should be considered employees under US law. Yeah. Wow. Really well done. So sports. Sports. Yeah, exactly. Does anybody have any questions here? Um, okay. And so when they say they make big money, they make a lot of money on their sports teams. So they get video game deals, they get broadcasting deals, they get ticket sales, they get merchandise and they don't pay their students at all. How can I read? Big dollars or big money? Big dollars, big money, big cash. Big yeah. Cash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big dollars, big money. Both are probably the most common. Okay. Alush, can you read the next part? Yeah. But yesterday, uh, the NLRB uh, decide the along uh, north western team to uh, to form a union world open would uh, open a, sh uh, a shore of Pandora uh, Pandora Pandora's uh, box and challenge sports meaning some schools uh, might be at a I can't see it. A competitive, a competitive, uh, disadvantage. Disadvantage. Uh, if they don't uh, offer the same benefits as. Uh, a new, a new result, a new, a new Z, a new Z, school. Unionized, yeah. Unionized school. So now, a uh, Northwestern football team, a park where uh, it starts the, as you like, the department, department, friends without benefits. Good. So, sort. A sort of Pandora's box. Can you repeat that? A sort of Pandora's box. Sort, uh, sort of pen Pandora's. Then? Good. Good. And college. College. Yeah. Competitive. Competitive. Uh, com competitive. 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 <laughs> competitive. 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 Good. Perfect. Unionized. Uh, unionized. 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 
started. Started. Okay. So, does anybody have any questions here? Okay, so I guess basically what this is saying is that the labor board's um, decision is that if they allow the football team to form a union, some schools might not be able to get good players at, as like they would be at a competitive disadvantage to the unionized schools. So like the unionized schools would get the better players. Um, and so now the football team is just back in the athletic department. Um, helping the athletic department of their school and not really getting any benefits. So hopefully that makes sense. Got everybody? Amp, can you read the end of the the article? This came yesterday's decision shuts the door on one team's fight for student athletes to have a seat at the table. Northwestern football players aren't the only ones who want benefits. So this will this won't be the last time you hear about this. Good. Exactly. Really nice pronunciation. Does anybody have any questions here? Okay. Let's skip that. Okay. Um, I don't know about that one either. Let's try this. Uh, Ksenia, can you read the role of the father? Do you think that your family should watch the news at night and discuss it? It's a good way to raise consensus. Cons I don't know how to say consensus children. Uh, so. Who know how to dialogue about what is happen happening in the world? Convince your son to watch the news with the family. Conscientious. Close. More like conscientious. Con conscientious. Good. Conscientious. Conscientious. Ken, can you read the role of the son? You hate watching the news with your family. You don't mind reading the news, but you think that the TV channel your father likes is too biased. You don't want to hurt his feelings, but it's annoy annoying having to always arg argue against him. Find a solution without being a uh, being mean. Good. And let's have Alush. If you're the father, how would you start the conversation? Uh, how started the conversation? Mm -hmm. uh, do you think um, uh, about the, it's uh, about the, the discuss uh, the news? No, no. I, I'm asking. Uh, uh, if you if you're the father, yeah. you're talking to your son, so you need to pretend that you're talking to your son and you want to convince him you want to convince your son to watch the news with you so how would you start the conversation maybe start with um, like son um, I don't know really okay maybe let's have amp how would you start Son, the news are just starting. <laughs> nice. The news is a singular. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just starting. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Son, the news is just starting. And maybe Ksenia, how would you respond? 
Mm, sorry, Dad, but I have a lot of homework to do. Nice. And how would you respond? Yes, study is important, but at the same time, you need to know what is going on in the world. I like this channel, and uh, you need to watch this uh, this TV sh TV uh, news show with me. After that, we can discuss it. Nice. Um. Good. And okay. Does that kind of make sense, Alush? How would you respond? Yeah, but also I can watch the news in another time. Well, this is the the, the best the, the best news that you can find. The the other is just a a, a brief. It's just a what? A brief a program that that is I, I was. It's just um. Five minutes. You are not going to to know a lot of news in just five minutes. Okay, you're not going to learn about or learn hear about. about. Yeah. Okay. Senya, how would you respond? Uh, have you read the, the prescription from my doctor? I have a really poor sign. Poorly or poor? Really poor sight? Poor sight, yes. Yeah. Uh, so maybe maybe you will watch it and then tell me about everything after dinner. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, and so poor sight because you're modifying sight, um, which is a thing. Um, I have poor sight. How would we say poorly? When would we use poorly? Poorly. Uh, I see poorly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see poorly. I have mm -hmm. poor sight. Yes. Good. And Ken? OK, uh, at least you can listen to the show without watching. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alush? Uh, Dad, I don't like uh, the TV. I can't see the news uh, on uh, the internet. Thanks. I can see the news on the internet. Okay. And? It's not the same because you don't have a, anyone to discuss with. Discuss from? Um, to discuss about the news. To discuss it with. Yeah, so to discuss the news with, to discuss it with, you don't have anybody to discuss it with. Would probably sound better. Xenia, how would you respond? Okay, and what about Katie? She is playing uh, the video games right now. Maybe you should ask her. Right. Maybe you should ask. Ken? Uh, Kate is too young to uh, to understand the news, so she's just, she's just five. So I, I want you to <laughs> watch the, the news with me. 
<laughs> uh, she's 14? Really? I, I missed that part. <laughs> 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 I miss that part. <laughs> Kids grow up so darn fast these days. Oh. Okay, uh, and how do you would you respond? Uh, I have, uh, as a friend, to discuss the, uh, with him. Uh, also, there, uh, there are some uh, views. There is uh, some uh, views volumes uh, I didn't uh, like to see in TV. Okay, so there is a lot of violence I don't like. Yeah. TV. Okay, good. And how would you respond? What is strange, but you like uh, video games that are have full of violence on it. And the only thing that you discuss with your friend is about video games. What is the new one? What are the new ones? Or what is the new one? Yeah. Senya. Mm, I love you so much, Dad. So mm, I want to spend my free time with you in the park, playing football, and not and not uh, watch um, TV news. So please, let's go to the park and play football. Nice. Good. Ken, how would you respond? Okay. Uh, uh, let's forget about news. Let's play football together. With kids. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> Good. Awesome. I think that was really nice, guys. Okay. Any questions here? You guys have any questions? It was really well done. Really good grammar from all of you guys. So There's some good answers. Um, quotations. Okay, maybe. Baluch, can you read this quotation? And photo. Yeah, in the photo. Uh. Uh, journalism is a, is a Britain what uh, someone else uh, does not want painted everything else uh, is a bullies bu bully, bully uh, relation yeah by George Orwell Okay. And maybe AMP, what's this mean? Uh, in, in many times uh, we are witnesses of what is happening around us, but nobody is uh, capable to, to talk about that. Just the journalism, uh, the journalists are the, who who are in charge to write about it. The journalists are in charge of writing mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I think it might be a little bit different just because we're close to out of time. So it's saying that journalism is printing what someone else doesn't want printed. So real journalism, according to George Orwell, is writing something 
that either a company or a person wants to hide. So journalism is uncovering a truth that people want, would like to remain hidden. Um, everything else is public relations. So things that do something else is just a way of communicating information between either a person or a company and the public, which is public relations. So we've got companies that try to talk to the public to advertise their product or to inform the public about what their product does. Um, and so, you know, to some extent, you know, journalism is public relations between politicians and, you know, governments and the public. And that's kind of public relations. If you're just printing what somebody else wants printed, George Orwell is saying real journalism is printing what they don't want printed. Um, hopefully that makes sense. We are out of time. Um, challenging power, exactly, Ken. And thanks for coming in. Hopefully I'll see you guys again soon, and have a really good day.